hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to search for a font and upload it into design space for free before we get started please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so i just picked out this random shirt off of google and i want to know what the font is let's just say i want this exact font and now i need to search for it so what i'm going to do is show you how to do that and upload in design space in google you want to type in what the font in the search bar the first website that pops up is called www.myfonts.com what the font. Click on it and you will see a page that looks just like this. I'm going to scroll down and then right here it says drop an image here to identify the font or click here to upload an image. So now I am going to click on the photo that I found off of Google and open the file. After we wait for it to generate, I am going to highlight some of the fonts on this shirt. That way it can identify the font that it wants to search for you. I'm going to click on this button to identify the selected font that I chose. So here is a huge list of different fonts that are basically identical to the shirt. Keep in mind that these fonts are not free. They do cost money. So we are going to choose the selected font that we think we want. I'm going to choose Genty Regular, I believe that's called, and we are going to search for it in Defont.com. After typing Defont.com, a page will pop up and it looks like this. At the top right hand screen, I'm going to search for Genty Regular. Unfortunately, this name does not exist in Defont.com, but that's okay because we're going to search for another one. So now I'm back on this website and I'm going to look for another name. Let's go ahead and type in the name Gentius Regular and search for it. It looks like this name does exist, so what we are going to do is click on the download button. After downloading, this file folder has two different fonts. It's called Gentius and Gentius Shadow. Okay, so I'm going to select this one and click on the install button at the top right here. And now my font is installing. Now I'm going to do the same steps for the shadow background. I'm going to click on install one more time and once that downloads, we have another step. This other step is very important. You want to make sure to right click your file folder and click the extract all button. It's now considered a compressed zipped file. Now that I'm done with that, we are going to open Cricut Design Space. I'm going to select new project. Okay, so let's go to our fonts in the system. In the search bar, I'm going to type in Gentius because that's the font that we just downloaded. As you can see, it is successfully downloaded and now I'm going to click on them. In this text box, I'm going to type in Cricut Tips. Now I have to include the shadow background for the font. And now I'm going to search for Gentius Shadow. It's right here. I'm going to type it out real fast. Cricut Tips. I'm going to change the color of the letters so it matches like the one on the shirt. Okay, so I'm going to quickly visualize it. It looks good. So now I'm going to click on make it. Okay, so after it sorts my project by color, you can see that there are two different mats. You're going to cut two different colors and then you'll be able to layer it. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Thank you for watching.